What's up everybody? Today I have a very quick do-it-yourself that I just need to actually finish. I already started. Um, this is a keepsake that I'm making for um, one of my co-workers who is expecting her second child. So I already blinged out the outside. Um, all I need to do now is the middle. I had so many ideas that I was going to do with this, um, like put a little Hello Kitty here, or I could have went with a little pink and white Mickey Mouse, so I'll be using my E6000 glue, and I'll be using rhinestones from Beta Better, and I'll also be using cabochons that I got from various places, so I'll put the link in the description box okay I was trying to see how much space I had to work with to do some different type of designs but I don't have very much space on here because um, I wanted to kind of add like a little um, flower or you know something on here but I don't have a lot of space so I'm just going to put her initial on here in pink stones and then I'm going to embellish the rest of it with clear rhinestones. All right, I'm all finished. So, it's just an L for Leilani. I had to kind of um, fix this up a little bit. So, I went a little bit on the outside because it made it look better. So... This is the pacifier I used. I think I got it from either Target or Walmart. And there were two in here. And it's made by Philips. And um, basically, anyway, it's just for a keepsake. Um, I wouldn't recommend that anybody use this because these stones can fall off all the time. Maybe, you know, take some pictures with it. Um, I wouldn't give it to my child to use. So it's just not worth putting them at risk for a blinged out pacifier. I will probably also get a picture frame that I saw at Hobby Lobby and I also saw a few others online and it was the little picture frame that says love at first sight and you put your ultrasound in it. So it was pink and they have them in other colors and stuff online. I'll insert one so you can see what I'm talking about. But I'm like if you have that on your shelf 
and you have this little keepsake pacifier next to it like that would be just beautiful the reason I chose this one was basically because they have a little cover on the mouth part of the pacifier so you know that way they can just kind of set it on their bookshelf or you know wherever they want to put this at um, and I'll be back with another one that I need to make for another co-worker who is having a boy